Good morning, everyone. So just a couple brief announcements. Obviously, again, as most of you saw on Facebook, but if you haven't, again, Dave is down for the next two weeks here as he tested positive for COVID. The contact trace was uh, set, basically, they figured it out. It was Sunday afternoon, meaning there was no contact in here whatsoever. So we have, again, nothing to worry about on that front. I confirmed that with the diocese and we don't have any type of uh, uh, crossover here within the church. So that's a good thing, nothing to worry about on that front, but we do wanna pray for Dave for the next couple of weekends. So far he's asymptomatic, we're praying it stays that way, and it's just a two week break and that he'll be back here uh, again two weeks from now playing as normal. So we're gonna lift that one up in prayer. Just a couple of other quick announcements. We also have adoration tomorrow evening from 6.30 to 7.30 if you'd like to join. Uh, rosary after mass, after the 1030 mass next week. Uh, confessions, as you'll see in the bulletin, are going to be kind of moved over to the uh, parish hall using one of the double classrooms there so we can create not just six feet of space, but t almost 12 to 15 feet of space with the windows cracked, everything else. Just because as we get into the winter months and we start trying to do confessions and laying cones out back, it would have been a little bit ridiculous once the snow hits, which is an inevitability up here, we know. So we're gonna kind of move towards that. The details are in the bulletin on that. And then finally, next week at this Mass, we'll have the Memorial Mass, as we always do there during the month of November, just lifting up those who, we, who have, again, we've lost during the past year in prayer and keeping them in prayer throughout the month of uh, November. Wow, we're already in November. It's coming up quick here. All right, everyone, thank you, and we'll start Mass in just a moment.
Please stand. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to thee. Trinity. Good morning, everyone. We'll begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. My brothers and sisters, as we gather together this morning, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you deliver us from the power of evil. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you give us the great commandment of love. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the eternal sign of love of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, you shall not molest or oppress an alien, for you were once aliens yourselves in the land of Egypt. You shall not wrong any widow or orphan. If ever you wrong them and they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry. My wrath will flare up and I will kill you with the sword then your own wives will be widows and your children orphans. If you lend money to one of your poor neighbors among my people, you shall not act like an extortioner toward him by demanding interest from him. If you take your neighbor's cloak as a pledge, you shall return it to him before sunset, for this cloak is the only covering he has for his body. What else has he to sleep in? If he cries out to me, I will hear him, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O, o Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. I love you, O Lord, my strength. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praised be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock. Extolled be the God, my Savior. 
you who gave great victories to your king and showed kindness to your anointed. I love you, Lord, my strength. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know what sort of people we were among you for your sake, and you became imitators of us and of the Lord, receiving the word in great affliction with the joy from the Holy Spirit, so that you became a model for all the believers in Macedonia and Achaia. For from the word of the Lord has sounded forth not only in Macedonia and in Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has gone forth, so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declared about us what sort of reception we had among you, and how you returned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to wait his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees had heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest of the first, and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Our religious tradition is founded on love. Actually, life itself is grounded in love, a love that is open and generous. We may not always feel this love, but if we allow ourselves to reflect on life, we will realize this truth. We have been called into being and we are sustained in existence for no other reason than loving generosity. It was out of love that we came from nothing. And we certainly did nothing to deserve this love. All we can conclude is that we, that we are loved because the source from which we come is loving. This is precisely what the Bible tells us again and again. Even the universe springs forth from this love. We have been called by this love and we will only be happy if we live in this love. 
Therefore, when we are directed to love God and love neighbor, we are not being asked to do something contrary to our nature. Rather, we are being told to live in accord with the nature out of which we have been fashioned. We come from God who is love. So it is in our very nature to love and to be loved. We may, not, we may sometimes think it's easier to love God than, other, than to love others. It may actually just be the opposite. Other people are tangible. We can see them, we can hear them, and we can interact with them. Their influence in our lives can permeate our consciousness. However, we can show we love God by loving what God loves, the way we love our neighbor. If our love is open and generous like God's love, it needs to extend beyond those people who are closest to us. We can care for the widows, the orphans, and the aliens. We can feed the hungry and visit the sick. We can try to alleviate the misery of those who are suffering. We can include those <clears throat> who have been forced to the margins of society. If our love is open and generous like God's love, we can do what we can to provide decent living conditions for people trapped in the prison of poverty. We will work to ensure clean water and air and a healthy world for those who will come after us. If our love is open and generous like God's love, we will treasure God's world and God's people within it. Love, which is the foundation of the reign of God, is contagious. When we love others, the reign of God spreads throughout the world. It was the goodness of their, their own lives that made the Thessalonians renowned in the neighboring territories. The compassion that we show towards others is a form of evangelization. It proclaims much louder than words could ever do that the reign of God has been established. When we love like this, we truly love <clears throat> with the openness and generous of God, generosity of God. Let us stand now and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting in our Lord and Savior, we lift our prayers before him this day. For the church, that, may, that we may always reach out to those in need with material and spiritual aid and extend God's grace to every corner of the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord for patient peacemakers and negotiators, for compassionate leaders and honest lawmakers, we pray to the Lord. For widows and orphans, 
for the abused and abandoned, and for all the unborn. May they all be protected in love from birth to natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord On this Priesthood Sunday, for all ordained priests, especially our own Father Jim, that our prayers and support may give them sustenance as they grow in their ministry, we pray to the Lord. Lord For first responders, military, frontline medical personnel and support people, that they all be kept safe and free from harm, we pray to the Lord. Lord For all our friends and loved ones who have gone on before us, especially those of our parish family, whom we will remember in this liturgy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions of our parish prayer chain, along with those prayers that we hold in the corners of our own hearts that are known to God alone, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, help us to open our hearts to receive the constant gift of grace that you pour into them, and that out of that abundance we may love as you love, and bear witness to your goodness in the world. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we accept it by you, Lord, a mere sacrifice like this day. away my iniquity, cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And well in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, 
we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so, with all the angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. But through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy, these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Patrick, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all 
glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We now pray the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We now pray the prayer of St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a great week, everyone. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. O oh, my soul, praise him, for he is your health and salvation. Come all who hear, now to his altar draw near, joining in glad adoration.